Did you ever wonder how a deer can digest leaves and other plants, but humans cannot? Well, plants are made out of cellulose and other materials that are really difficult to digest. Only microbes have the enzymes needed to digest or break down the cellulose. Deer have a specialized stomach called a rumen that houses billions of microbes, including bacteria. It's those microbes that break down the cellulose into smaller molecules that can be absorbed by the deer and then used for energy. You've probably heard that ruminants have four stomachs. It's actually a four-chambered stomach. The rumen is the first chamber. Now what happens is the deer chews and swallows into the rumen. And then some of the particles come back up as the deer burps it up and it'll chew it and then swallow it again. Then regurgitate it, chew it, and swallow it again. That's called ruminating or chewing cud. Now when the particles are small enough, they'll exit the rumen and go into the reticulum. That's chamber number two. The next chamber is the omasum, which again absorbs some of the nutrients from the microbes. After leaving the omasum, the final chamber is the true stomach or the abomasum. So here's our omasum, here's our abomasum. This is where the deer's digestion of smaller molecules begins, and it's where the microbes themselves are digested as they start going down the rest of the intestines. So basically, deer are actually surviving on the microbes and the microbial byproducts. If people had the same digestive specializations as deer, we could be eating and digesting the same things they do.